Hey everybody, we're back. Welcome to the channel today. Put lights in. These little new hickey. Going here. Lights in where? In the trailer. Oh, is that why we're up yeah, in the We're air? doing an intro video. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. We're doing trailer lights today. Get the trailer finished. All right. All right, everybody, I want to show you the door panels that I'm working on today. So we have these pieces that are typically in the door, and I apologize, I took them both out already ahead of time, but they are right there on the door. So what I do is I go ahead and drill out each one of the holes and then pop these off on the back side. And what we're going to put in place, I'll show you on the one I have done already, is the rockwood chrome pieces that's bolt right on and then we had custom made Peterbilt logos in purple done for us. We're going to take them out and then also going to pull these pieces off here and install the new interior pieces that Chad had made which will be these. I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. What a mess. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm going to let you in on a little how-to. So, these are wiring harnesses. You can get these from Peterbilt. Part number's on them. P92-6421-1000. If you can kind of see it, it's upside down. That's But anyways, so your dash switch, they're made to plug right in. That's a power harness for your dash switch. But what I wanted to show you, now I've got this cut off because I'm going to splice them together. Got this end right here. And the whole reason for this is this end. If you look over here, you've got this box behind your steering column. There's one left. This runs off your battery power. These three run off your key switch. Can I have that flashlight, Chad? What? Okay. Can I have that flashlight? You want me to light up your life? Yeah. Let's try to see what you're so talking these, about. These, this one, they kind of go in threes here. There's one here left open. Then there's two in that one, three in this one, two in this one. There's these three. If you look, here, I'll show you. <coughs> oh, so if you look, right here, this is that. So you've got switched power, switched power. Battery power, battery power. 
low voltage disconnect. That's what LVD stands for. That means if your batteries get below by 10 or 11 volts, this disconnects, they won't work. So you want constant battery power if you can. But if you look here, we've got one left. So what I'm going to do, take this end, I've already cut this end off of this one, and I'm going to splice them together because they're going to run the same function. These two are. So I'm going to splice them together, plug that in, and then my switch, as I long as I plug these brown wires in, right here, these brown wires, each switch, will go into, there's a plug in under there, I got to find it. But what happens then is when you, when you turn your lights on or turn your ignition on, all these will light up. And then when you turn your switch on, the switch lights up. You got a factory harness. You want to use the factory harnesses. Don't try and take your harness and put pigtails in individually. That's a pain in the butt. Do this. Buy these, buy these harnesses. It's doing it the right way, the way the factory does it. Trust me. That's the right way to do it. Good deal. All right. Well, I think you best get to work because, yeah, you you need to finish that. And mm -hmm. this thing needs some panels. Today. Wow. Today. Uh, today. All right. So I forgot to mention these wire harnesses. When you plug this end in up by the steering wheel, they're not working yet. So don't plug them in and say, oh, I got no power. The reason being, you've got your diagram here. So we plugged in number 10. So over here on number 10, you got to put a fuse in number 10. And then you can label it. That's what all these labels are for. These are being used. So when you plug this in, say we plugged in the 10. It says left front or left right front air right, number 10. But you've got to put a fuse in number 10 spot. Otherwise, it will not work. It's These are all still fused. They don't put fuses in from the factory. So you've got to fuse that. And whatever you do, the reason I use these, do not cut into your factory Peterbilt wiring harness. The minute you cut into it, your warranty is voided. On a brand new truck, I don't think you want to void your warranty. So uh, make sure you do this the right way. Use these. Check this out. It's in there. We have a dash back. So the best part is, okay. See all them switches over there? They all light up. Every single one of them. Well, I hope so. That's the reason you use these harnesses, so they light up. You've got to plug them in the correct way. Ground them, <coughs> ground them run your brown wire to your illumination block, and they'll all work. Cool. And to be honest with you, from when we did that video just before, um, you know, obviously we show you time lapse and we do stuff, but we are literally two, maybe three hours past that, Chad, wouldn't you say? Since you started putting the dash back together, it really didn't take you long. Well, no, I've had a few of them apart. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, but, I mean, it's... Know, I, I know where to go, what to do, it, that makes it easy. The, the new digital dashes... I'll never know anything about them. Trust well, me. that's because you have Them are horror patience. stories from what I hear. So tomorrow, guess what? We need to put pipes on. Pipes, yeah. We've been saying Carpet, we're going to put pipes on. Seats, well, pedals. I don't know. You really think you need a seat? Well, I guess. Do, stand up and drive? Yeah. 
We got a CD antenna we got to put in somewhere too. All right. What are you doing, Chad? Cutting carpet. Yeah? Putting, yeah. The, putting the flooring in? Gonna try. Bunks yeah. in. The bunks in already, huh? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Carpet laying 101. <laughs> Don't know nothing. Oh boy. We'll have to check out the bunk while you're doing that. See how it looks. Ooh, looks nice. Got some shag. As most of you know, Chad's known for his shag carpet. I'm gonna try something different this time though. Not purple. Gonna go with black. See how it turns out. Shag's actually pretty easy to put in because it's more forgiving than uh, yeah. hardwood floor or something else, ain't it? That's the amateurs. The amateurs. You can fix your mistakes easily. We've had to. We've had to. The last time we put shag carpet in, it was about... No, first time. It was two times ago. Was it two times ago now? Well, we got to admit. So it was probably, what, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning? 4. Chad's mom and I cut the pad. We had it already, the padding underneath. And then Chad and his dad went to cut the carpet. And by accident, the pedals ended up on the passenger side. Because when you don't sleep and you're on a Louisville crunch... Stuff like that happens, but with shag carpet, it's pretty forgiving, and we were able to to hide it quite well. Yep. So well, let's put it in. <laughs> <laughs> what doing over there, Chad? I'm trying to get this brake pedal. I think I got it. Is it fighting you? It is. Are you losing? Nope. Lost my purge stuff. I'm gonna crawl in here and see if we can see. Oh, you don't have them on yet. Here, I wanted to see them fancy pedals. But no. let's check out this fancy floor. Wow. It looks like, looks like an animal in here. It's so furry. An animal? Well, it's, it's like really thick. Nicer carpet than we have in our house. You realize that, right? Well, this is my house. Installed. Look at that. So he's putting the brake pedal in. The same brake pedal we could have used when we tried to put the bunk on that day. But, well, you know, that happens. Show us some pedals. Whoops. Don't lose well. something in the carpet. It'll be gone for days. Brought her back. We're going to find french fries in here when you come home from the first trip. I can just about imagine. Oh, got to eat. Look at that. Nice. Carpet. There we go. Got it. Got it? All right. Well, she's coming together fine. He didn't want the glove box to rattle, so we're just going to go without. Yeah. Custom. Simple. Yeah, simple. Shave the door handles. We shave the handles. <laughs> the glove box handles. The glove box handles. There we go. Airing it up for the first time, making sure everything Chad did is hooked up correctly. And uh, we decided we're going to call our night early and go have some dinner. Leave it aired up and see if it holds air or if we have any air leaks. Yep. What are you thinking, Chad? Uh, right, it's pretty low. Yeah? I don't know, let's find out. Sure does. Nice work. So as you can see, most of the exterior is done. The only thing left is, well, of course, the pipes. So that'll be tomorrow morning's project. And um, 
Today was another big day, finishing a lot of stuff on it, and come tomorrow, we'll put pipes on, and the step boxes and the exterior is done. Wow, we're getting there. Chad, that was a busy, busy week. Yeah, week. Yes. It's a lot of work, but we're almost there. Yep. What do we what do we have left? Uh, I think that we just got the steering wheel. Steering wheel. I gotta get this this thing out of here. I'm gonna do a little how-to video for that. Uh we're gonna wash it. Yep. Because it got dirty. Yeah, yeah. I secretly drove it over to Evans to have some touch-up work done and uh, completely blown it apart on the way home. Uh, we hit a pretty good rainstorm and yeah. She got dirty. Not ready for Wildwood anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Never fails it's so, going to rain the day that we need to uh, need to take it out. Yeah, We but, had to get it washed and uh, I got a couple little doodads to put on the trailer as far as decals and stuff. Uh, other than that, I guess checked oil, pick the tires, light the fires. I don't know. That's right. So we're going to finish that up. Um, appreciate you guys following along on this video. We're going to pound out probably the next one here shortly because Chad's going to be on the road yep. in no time um, rolling. So we'll do a final walkthrough here in the shop. Yep. Walk through with what we have done for Wildwood. We still have stuff well, you want to do. Yeah, truck's never done. You guys all know that. Yeah, it's uh, difficult to just get everything just banged out when you got all sorts of other trucks to work on. Um, we did our, our best, and, and I think we're going to go down there and represent very well, but we did not get the stereo in. Uh, that's about all I really wanted to. To do but you know the factory stereo for one trip will do just fine it's better than nothing yeah yeah what is that? yeah so but appreciate you guys following along on this video and like i said stand by we're gonna have the walk around truck done video out also real soon yep appreciate following you know what to do like subscribe it down below yeah see you later bye, bye.